are you? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Perfect, perfect. So how many had had Hint prior to coming here today? Awesome. Uh, so I started this company uh, 11 years ago, um, which in uh, tech time is quite a long time ago. Um, in uh, the beverage uh, industry, um, it's, it's not as, as many years. In fact, uh, the guys who started Vitamin Water told me that nobody had actually heard of Vitamin Water until they were approximately 14 years old. Uh, so I feel excited to see so many hands in the audience of people who had heard about our product. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about our company and, and kind of where it came from and really why I started this company and decided to do it. Um, I uh, did not come from the beverage industry. I was not uh, an executive from uh, the big soda companies, Coke or Pepsi, prior to this. In fact, I was at a little company called America Online. And uh, when I started at America Online back in the 90s, I uh, was running their e-commerce and shopping group. And exciting time, uh, we built that business to be a billion dollars uh, in revenue to AOL um, when I left in 2001. <laughs> And something interesting happened to me when I left the company. Maybe some of you have been in this situation before. I was leaving and trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life and uh, looking at lots of different options. I'm based here in San Francisco and really looking around Silicon Valley. And I looked in the mirror and I realized that lots of things had changed about myself and that I had gained 50 pounds since I had graduated from college. I uh, had terrible adult acne. I had a horrible stomach. And I had no energy. And I was trying to figure out, how did this happen to me over the years? How did I change this much? And how did I become this person that I was looking at in the mirror? I went to a bunch of different doctors. And it was fascinating what I was hearing from most of the doctors. They, uh, met, most of them did not even ask me what I was eating and drinking every single day. Instead, they asked me how many hours I was working, what I was doing for exercise. And uh, the diagnosis, if you could call it this, was that I had a hormone imbalance and that's what happens to people, male and female, as they get older. And that's why we gain weight. And that's why your metabolism gets screwed up. And none of it made sense to me, frankly. So I, uh, after receiving a prescription from a doctor in New York who was going to give me um, a couple different prescriptions for lots of different things um, that I didn't understand, I went home and thought about taking this medication and thought, what exactly am I actually doing taking, taking this medication? For what? And I looked down at that time my best friend, which was a Diet Coke. And I looked at the ingredients and thought, now, there can't be anything wrong with this because it says diet. And I looked at all of the different ingredients and started to Google these ingredients and thought, you really have to have a PhD in science to really understand what, you're, what is actually going into this product and other products that we see in the food industry. And I thought, why am I drinking this product? Why am I giving it to my family? Why am I doing what I'm doing every single day? And I, it, it wasn't a casual, now I call it addiction to a product. It wasn't like I was drinking one every once in a while. I was drinking between eight and 10 Diet Cokes a day. Massive. And um, so I would get up in the morning, and I would pop that can open. And I really enjoyed hearing the Diet Coke and, and really enjoyed drinking um, you know, really the syrup and everything about it was just exciting. The red can, the whole thing was, I was in. I was, I, I loved it. And so I decided prior to taking any of these medications that I was going to throw the Diet Coke in the garbage and see what was going to happen. So I threw the Diet Coke in the garbage and started drinking plain water. And lots of crazy things happened, including adult acne, gone. Stomach issues, gone. 20, over 20 pounds in two and a half weeks, gone. Energy, high. And I thought, wow, just by giving up a diet soda that's supposed to be better for me, all of these kind of changes are happening. 
So I was never a plain water drinker. I actually grew up in Arizona where I should have been a plain water drinker. And, and I really thought, you know, what is it that's going to get me to continue to drink plain water? So I started slicing up fruit, pomegranates, anything that I could get my hands on and throwing it in the water. And then I decided that the fruit actually looked kind of funky after a while. I don't know if any of you have filled up a vase and then you throw it in the refrigerator. And uh, the pulp kind of makes it look sort of strange after a while. And I thought, what if I take the fruit and I put it on the stove and I start to boil the water out of it? And again, I'm not a chef. I, I'm not a food scientist. But I thought, just boil the water out a little bit and see what happens. So I would take two to three drops from that concoction that I was doing on the stove. I, have to, I always have to tell people, especially chefs, I, I almost lit our house on fire multiple times by, by creating these, trying to create this uh, process in our kitchen. And uh, finally started putting this uh, in, in my water. And friends started asking, noticing that I had looked so much healthier, that I was acting so much healthier. And uh, finally, I went to Whole Foods uh, here in San Francisco on California and Franklin Street. And I said, how do I launch a product in Whole Foods? And the gentleman who was stocking the shelves said, you know, have you worked in the beverage industry before? Have you worked in food industry? And I said, I'm a tech executive. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm excited about it because what I've seen is that I can actually create change in my own life. And I believe that if I could get this product out to people, that they could, in a very simple way, start to enjoy water again. And so the nice gentleman uh, at Whole Foods said, bring me back some cases of this product that you're talking about, and I'm happy to try and put it on the shelf. And what does any other great entrepreneur do? We, I took him up on the offer, and I took 10 cases. I developed it in my kitchen and took it to Whole Foods. And, uh, didn't, wasn't even sure if it was going to work. I still had a lot of friends in tech, and they said, Kara, what are you doing these days? And I said, you know, not really clear what I'm doing, and I didn't want to actually share what I was doing until I actually knew that this would actually be a company that worked. So I took it to Whole Foods, and they put it on the shelf, and two days later went through 10 cases of Hint and uh, called me and said, I'd love to get some more product on the shelf. And so I thought, awesome. Like, we're, we finally got a product that is going to, that people can actually hold on to, which for those of you who have worked in tech, was pretty exciting to be able to hold on to a physical product when I had been used to dealing in services and bits and bytes. Um, so uh, launching it at Whole Foods, very, very exciting. Um, took us about six months to actually get it launched throughout the country in Whole Foods. Um, a very, very competitive business that, frankly, uh, I knew a little bit about. Uh, had sort of heard whispers about the food and beverage industry being pretty competitive, but had no idea that, that today there is over 2,000 beverages in the marketplace today, and approximately 60 beverages actually get on the shelves at any given time. Um, so uh, another key thing, a friend of mine was uh, working at Google back in the early days and said they were trying to launch a product or launch a kitchen that was filled with healthier and better for you products. So I got a hold of the food and beverage person at Google. They put it in. And what Google realized is that if they actually provided healthier and better for you products for their Google employees, that there would be less sick days, potentially uh, health insurance premiums go, go down, and all these things just by getting people to, to drink water, eat healthier products, which was super, super exciting. So I think just going back to you know, the early days of, of launching this and really why I you know, launched the company in the first place, it was never to launch a beverage company. When I you know, run into people, especially in the beverage industry, and they say, what you've done is, is uh, you know, pretty amazing. And, and we talked about our sales revenues. We're actually um, closing in on three times the sales revenues that was mentioned earlier, which is super, super exciting. Um, but the other thing that's really exciting is that we've grown a company that is profitable and that everybody who is drinking it is, is seeing some sort of benefit from that. It could be that 
it's just helping them to drink water. Um, we hear from a number of customers that as they're drinking, Hint, there lots of great things are happening. For example, type 2 diabetes, which is affecting over 40% of the population has type 2 diabetes or prediabetes. And what's most interesting about that disease in particular is that of the people that are being diagnosed with type 2 diabetes today, 40% are claiming that they're drinking diet sweeteners, which is totally against what most consumers recognize. So a lot of our work today, um, I probably spend 10 to 15% of my time uh, talking to the FDA and really trying to lobby for consumers' rights around transparency, not only in food and beverages, um, but it doesn't seem to be that that's sort of a normal thing for most of our food and beverage companies to do. So I think that the key thing that I've learned just in, in launching this company is, for all of the entrepreneurs out there, is that you can launch a company, and I guess it's a social mission company that when I started this company, that term wasn't even being used for when you talked about companies, um, that really can help people to be the best people that they are and really create change and disruption. What I found in our industry in particular is that that doesn't seem to be the norm. It's more just about selling bottles and not really selling health and actually helping people to get healthier. Um, and I really believe that entrepreneurs are always going to be the ones, no matter what industry you're in, to be able to create change and, cre and also be able to uh, create awareness and educate people around how do we actually make the right changes, not just for ourselves, but also for other people just to remain healthy and active and um, better. And I believe that this is an issue that is, uh, is important not just in the US, but also in the world. And I would love for you to all take a closer look at just exactly what our food environment is doing and demand for uh, a clearer idea of sort of transparency and really what we can do to be better advocates to get better food and better beverages in our lives. So thanks so much.